Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom, starting a new week of what I cooked for dinner at home. This uh, this evening, we're actually having some French toast on the brioche bread from Aldi. Um, this is one of the best breads, in my opinion at least, to make French toast. So Matt has three pieces here with a little bit of butter. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some maple syrup on there. We also have some corned beef hash and fruit. We're having mandarin oranges tonight, and this is some corned beef hash. We like ours really, really crispy. And I'm having two pieces of French toast, and Matt's having three. But this is dinner tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, I made that orange chicken that I got at BJ's. I showed it in a haul um, a couple weeks ago with some white sticky rice, the Innovations brand, which I get at Walmart all the time. Um, the chicken was really easy to do. You just bake it and then toss it in the orange sauce. I just add a little bit of sesame seeds on top, put it over the white rice, and then I sauteed up some snow peas and sliced up mushrooms. My husband is not the hugest mushroom fan and I love them, so I took more mushrooms and he has more snow peas. So this is our dinner tonight and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, tonight I'm making a big old pot of chili. I literally used the easiest recipe ever. I've been using this for years, probably since I was 18, literally, so almost 20 years. It's the easiest thing ever and just so good. So you can use beef or turkey. I have a pound of ground beef. I just browned it up and drained the fat. And then you literally add this. You add a can of uh, beans. You can use really any beans you like. I've done it with black beans, white cannellini beans, but these are kind of the traditional bean, the dark red kidney. And then I always use fire roasted um, diced tomatoes. Let me show you my favorite brand to use is this one. Um, that's my favorite brand, but I do like the Walmart ones as well. Um, and you literally put these three things with the uh, the beef or the turkey, you can do turkey chili. It comes out perfect every time. So I'm just gonna let it simmer away for about half an hour. And then I'm gonna make some uh, corn muffins. Obviously you can buy pre-made corn muffins or cornbread, but these this box is 50 cents. It's so easy. Um, it's just a little bit of milk and an egg and you bake it into little corn muffins and I uh, my husband likes to break these um, up into his chili and I actually put my chili over pasta so I'm gonna get uh, some didolini if I have some I think I have some hiding back here so I'm gonna get some here it is barely reach it I'm gonna get some didolini going and it's gonna be the easiest dinner ever Hey guys, so here is how dinner looks. The chili um, over the ditalini pasta with a little bit of butter on the ditalini. I did some green beans and then some of the uh, Jiffy corn muffins and it looks really good. And we're gonna dig in and we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, Grady is having some ditalini pasta with a little bit of butter and he's gonna put some Parmesan cheese on it. He likes to put the cheese on by himself so I'm gonna let him put his parmesan cheese and then he's also gonna have a cutie orange that I just peeled and then some green grapes that I cut in half because they were really big but this is his dinner tonight hey guys for dinner tonight we are having sausage there is a combo of spicy and sweet sausage here with some roasted peppers and onions, some Kraft mac and cheese, and then some roasted potatoes. Like I've, I think I've mentioned before, I like to leave the skins on. I just personally think they taste better. Um, so Justin's having three, Matt's having three, and I'm having two sausages, and we're pretty much all having the same thing. But this is our dinner tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow. So this night we went to my parents' house for a barbecue. We had burgers and dogs and some fresh, sweet local corn, grilled zucchini. My mom made some pickles, pasta salad. It was just very casual and nice. And I'm gonna show you guys now her garden. She has tons of peppers, tons and tons of tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, pumpkins. It's just amazing to see every year. And I'm gonna be getting a lot of fresh veggies, so I'm really excited for it. So tonight we're having breakfast for dinner. So I'm actually making my 
hash brown casserole right now. It is the morning um, because I don't want to do it later. I just want to be able to have it ready and pop it into the oven. Um, so I have this recipe, a video on this recipe. Um, it's really easy, so I'll link it down below. I did not have yellow onions, so I only had red, and so I used a red, half a red onion instead of the yellow. But it's a really good recipe. The only thing I omit out of the traditional recipe is the sour cream because I don't like it. Um, even though you probably can't even taste it, it's probably just a mental thing for me. But this is one of, for sure, a number one like crowd pleaser recipe that everybody likes. Um, it's just so good. So I'm just making it now so I can pop it in the oven later. I have my bacon that I took out of the freezer about an hour ago to thaw out so I can throw that later on a couple sheet pans and bake it and then decide what I want to do for like my main entree part of the dinner, whether it's eggs or um, hole in the bread or pancakes or waffles or French toast or something. Um, we just love breakfast for dinner and sometimes we go through phases where we have it like twice a week for dinner and everybody's happy. So anyways, just wanted to share that with you that I do make some things in the morning um, that I can just have ready and pop in the oven when it's dinner time. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, we have uh, some hole in the bread with the nature's own, uh, the perfectly crafted thick sliced white bread, the hash brown casserole that you saw me made this, make this morning, and then some of the black label Hormel bacon. These are just the little pieces that went in the um, egg part. Uh, my plate, uh, my plate's over on the other side of the kitchen because I'm cooking this. I just wanted to mention quickly, this is the last dinner clip in this video, but after this, I'm going to go ahead and insert some random clips from a small meal prep, like food prep I did this week. I was kind of doing like a trial run, just playing around with um, footage and stuff since I want to do a... Um, official meal prep slash food prep video very soon. So um, rather than just waste the footage and never let it see the light of day, I'm just going to roll that footage after this. Um, so if you want to see that, keep on watching. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this week's What's for Dinner video, and I will definitely see you in the next one. Do my first, uh, I guess my first like meal prep for the week video. So I know people who do meal prep, everybody's idea of that is different and everybody sort of does what works for their lifestyle. Um, I know a lot of people make like full meals, like they'll make breakfast stuff, lunch stuff, and, and you know, even dinner things. I do more of kind of just setting myself up for success because I do actually enjoy cooking dinner every night at home. So I really don't do a lot of dinner prep. I mainly do um, a lot of veggie prep and fruit prep, like produce. And then this week, actually, uh, my son is going back to school and my schedule is going to change completely from being, you know, home all day with my son. Um, well, not home, like in the house, but, you know, he is home from school. And then we have different appointments with his therapies uh, to it's going to be a lot different because he's going to be gone from pretty much like 830 in the morning to four o'clock in the afternoon. So I have a lot of videos to catch up on. So today um, I'm actually going to be doing my meal prep for the week. And this particular week I'm going to make up three uh, meals for myself for lunches. So I'm going to have... Um, most likely one today, and then one tomorrow, and then one the next day. I don't normally like to eat the same thing every day for lunches or even breakfasts, um, but this week's an exception because I really need to catch up on videos and get a lot of work done. Um, so I'm getting ready to throw these in the oven. This is cauliflower, mushrooms, and tomatoes. And I have a bunch of tomatoes from my mom's uh, garden. But I'm just going to drizzle these uh, with olive oil. Same thing here, salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. And get them in the oven. And then I'm also going to make one of these uh, Stouffer's seasoning wraps in the Italian countryside herb. I took out my chicken last night. Half the battle I've said before with meal prepping or even just cooking dinner is getting your meat out if you're a meat eater uh, the night before so it's thawed out. So I'm going to go ahead and make these, get the chicken going, get the veggies roasting, and kind of kick off my meal prep showing you guys how I make up some lunches for the week. So I'm doing three chicken breasts and I just rinsed them and I'm going to pat both sides dry because that is very important when you are pan doing or pan pan doing pan cooking meat you want your meat to be dry
So I'm just going to pat these dry. They'll just brown a lot better and cook a lot better. So I'm patting these dry. Get them on the pan I have, or get them on the plate. I have my pan preheating. And I'll show you guys how easy these are to do. Alright guys, so I've got my chicken breasts um, cooking up in the seasoning wrap. Very excited for this flavor. Um, and then my veggies are roasting away. So we're doing good so far. Tomatoes and mushrooms are done. The cauliflower takes a little bit longer because I like to get a nice brown uh, kind of crispy top on it. And I'm going to go ahead, let these cool, and then I'll plate everything into um, containers and be ready for the week. Alright guys, I forgot to mention earlier, today is Tuesday. Normally I would do this on Sunday, um, but this was this past weekend was Labor Day weekend and we were pretty much busy Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, so I just did not have the opportunity. And so with today being Tuesday, Grady going back to school Thursday, it's a little bit of a shorter week. Uh, in addition to what you see here, I'm also going to do some hard-boiled eggs. I actually have to get them in the water right now. Um, I'll probably do a little bit less. Usually I do a dozen, but I'll probably do like 8 to 10. Um, again, since it's a shorter week and I'm doing this a couple days later. So just to recap, I've got my roasted cauliflower. I've got my roasted tomatoes and mushrooms. I actually ate some of the mushrooms because they were really, really look, calling my name. They were delicious. Uh, I've got the three seasoned, wrapped, cooked chicken breasts. These are great to eat on their own. Throw on a salad, make a little sandwich wrap. And then for fruit, what I had to use up this week were some cuties and some green grapes. I actually ate some of those too. Sometimes I eat while I'm prepping. But yes, in addition to this, I will do some hard-boiled eggs. Um, and then I will have a little something to make little lunches or even just pick at stuff for breakfast, like grab a couple hard-boiled eggs and some fruit. Um, since I just need this stuff to get me through pretty much uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and this will do the trick just perfectly. So normally I would do a little bit more than this. I would do usually like a third fruit and then I would do some veggie prepping and then I would also probably do um, a little bit more um, of like a side dish. Every week really varies so I'm excited to be able to share the future meal preps with you guys. Um, but this is just kind of a short week to kick off. Um, sort of like my meal prep series. I don't know how frequent it's going to be, but I just wanted to share with you what I was doing on a short week. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.